Hey guys, Hu Shang here. Welcome back to the speed run. This is episode number four. And we're playing another Protoss player, so still no Zerg players. We'll keep going though. We'll try to get one in a future series. But okay, Protoss, we want to get the first overlord across the map. Let's get our hatchery hotkeyed. Let's set the camera location. You guys know the drill. And let's make our 13 overlord. And we're gonna place this one here. I think I've talked about this already. But we're putting this over here just in case they cannon rush us. Now I know it's super, super rare for um, these honorable Protoss players to play legitimate and not cannon rush. Um, but you know, just in case, like the 0.1% uh, chance that they cannon rush us. <laughs> Probably more like 20%. Okay, let's grab our hatch. Set up the control groups, set up the camera locations. Drone to the mineral line, drone to the gas, drone to the pool. I'm gonna hotkey this one as well. Look at that, I can jump back and forth between these guys. Jump between the bases. The more things you can hotkey, the better because it's going to give you more flexibility to bounce around like this and check stuff, you know? So here I see a probe in here. Um, what else? I see my hatchery is like halfway. It might not seem that important, but strong, the stronger you get in StarCraft, the more you're going to want to bounce around and just get more info into your brain. Just jam more info in there. And the more info you can jam in, the better you're going to play. That's why I'm tapping here. So I'm just going, you know, whenever I have nothing to do, F1, F2, F1, F2, right? Pick up some more info. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. This is what I like to see. Let's put this overlord here. This guy is getting a little frisky with us. <laughs> okay, some links, just like usual. Notice he has no expansion, right? Now, a lot of you might be thinking, okay, 20 Zerglings, let's go. We don't want to die here. Um, but I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say we're gonna drone a little more, right? We got six Zergling. We got some Queens on the way. Don't forget, Queens are, uh, can be fighting units, right? We got two Queens, so we could probably take, um, you know, two Stalkers even, and we'd be totally fine. Let's pull off gas here. We're super late. Look how bad I'm doing this build, guys. We're still gonna win. Don't worry. Okay. Layer. Hello? drones let's fill that gas in a little bit okay two stalkers we could make units now but um, I think we can go a little further I just want to show you guys how much further we can go but the only thing I want to do is pull these back uh, just because he's got stalkers all right one more overlord 36 let's fill the gas once we um, break 36 supply, one, two, three, rest over here. All right, he's really not expanding. Let's get a Roach War in and let's start making uh, maybe a Spine, maybe some Zerglings. Honestly, you can kind of do whatever. Um, the Spine is not the best, but I also think it's the easiest. So you can use that as a crutch a little bit for now. Inject, inject, more drones. Gases, spores. Third base. I think it's not too great to panic. Like, we don't really need to deal with that unless he's attacking us. Um, and we can always produce like 20 Zerglings all at once. So it's really not as scary as it looks. Okay, Roach Speed. Let's make uh, some Overlords. The real problem when you're playing against stuff like this is people get distracted and they stop macroing. So whatever you can do to like keep on your macro is how you're going to improve really quickly, right? So the fact that I'm, you know, throwing down this spine and losing 100 minerals, that's not really why people don't get to platinum. The reason you don't get to platinum is you, you know, hyperventilate over here and you spam zerglings because you're going to die, but you're fine. It's all good. Keep making some roach. 
Let's make the overlords. I think actually I made some. I did make some. So let's get more roach. And you know, our opponent expanded late, right? It looks like he's moving out as well. So we do not need to move out in this situation. In fact, we're already in a great position. So let's just keep injecting. Let's keep making roaches. If you guys are really uh, aware, we can easily smash him. But the longer we wait, the harder we're going to smash him. So it's in your best interest, even when you're going to win, to wait as long as possible. More overlords, more roach. You see how bad this fight is? You would want to save that if you wanted to optimize. But it's good that we're not optimizing because we're managing our money super, super well. Inject, inject, roaches, overlords. Okay, there's a pile on here. We could deal with that. But I think we just go for the push. Wouldn't would definitely not be wrong to go deal with that though. I think that would be a good thing to do. Okay, so we're gonna move up here. If there was a shield battery, we're gonna back up if he overcharges. We're gonna get in close. We're gonna aim move. Then we're going to macro. And then we're going to move in again. We're getting a little advanced here. Although I'm sure all of you can do this. The only thing is you got to integrate the macro cycle, right? You got to make the roaches. You got to make the roaches, the overlords, and the injects. Let's move in again. We got a little bit of downtime. And back to the macro. Injects coming up. Boom, boom, boom. And we got him. All right. Well, clean game. Clean game. But I think this one was uh, pretty beneficial. Because I know a lot of people when I'm teaching, like, you know, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, people are panicking. You know, they see no base. And it's like the unit pedal is pressed all the way down. But as you can see here, we can still make, you know, quite a few drones. And if he does come for us, then we'll make units. Um, and if he doesn't come for us, then, you know, We'll just keep droning. We'll just we'll just go all the way to 41. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Got some more Zerg speedruns coming, so make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you like the video, and uh, hopefully some of you guys like this content. Maybe consider becoming a member, getting some of my coaching. That's all. See you guys in the next one.